G'day everyone and welcome to Super T Console Gaming. It's Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and it's more Peach Rides a Bike and we're off to the Star Cup today. So as we head off to Sunshine Airport, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to get in the comments and let us know how you're travelling. And look, I'll be honest, the Peach said to me earlier, I want to ride Yoshi. And I said, look, I'll have a quiet word to the little green fella and organise it for you. And he said yes. So that's what's going to be happening in this video. Peach is going to take on the Star Cup whilst atop the Yoshmeister. She's ready to rock and roll out the back of the grid there. Look at her. She's ready to go. She's up in the stirrups. Can't be stopped. She can miss the start, of course. All right, this will test me. I do not vibe with the motorbikes. So who knows what's going to happen here. I mean, how bad can it be? I'll figure it out eventually, no doubt, as I've fallen off several things already. Uh, probably about as many corners as... Oh, he's, what's he going to do with that thing? Get away from me with the bomb Donkey Kong. All right, so Peach going OK in second at the moment. As told, Toad holds steady out in first place. We managed to get in front of him on that one, but we'll see what happens. Oh. Don't like those green rebounding shells. Anyway, we're off. Can I get this corner right this time? Let's see. Oh, it's a little bit better. Bananas on the track, Peach. Watch out as the princess loads up and she falls off in the same spot again. That's horrible. Anyway, maybe I'll learn my lesson and get it right in lap number three. Well, hey. Oh, worst possible time for a blue shell. I mean, it could have been slightly worse and hit me in about sort of half a second. But we're okay. We're still in first somehow. Old Peach must be doing something right. She's enjoying riding Yoshi around the track, that's for sure. He's having an absolute field day. I reckon this is the best time of his life. Which is weird, I didn't think that motorbikes could talk, but what ifs? Oh, hang on, through we get. Wow, isn't there a massive difference between the bikes and the carts? Because I'm driving like an absolute nutty. As yet again, I fall off. But I tell you what, that is the key to dodging that red shell in that area. Because you just jump off the ramp and it gets stuck up there, so... That's happened to us a couple of times, and that's some good news as Peach looks to close out race number one. She's going great, Guns. Nails it beautifully. The Peach has brought it home. Atop the Yoshi, look at him, he's happy. He's not going to stick that big red tongue out, I hope. I mean, that things could get out of hand if the tongue comes out. Peach has been collected. She's off blowing kisses. The old glove licker as we know her. She's going good as she gets around the track. Probably a little better than when I was controlling her, to be honest. I was hoping I'd put the right wheels on Yoshi. It feels like they're the right ones. But I'm not sure. Let me know. Is that the standard Yoshi bike wheel combination? I'd love to know. Jeez, look at her. She's really excited. You'd think that there was literally anyone up there to blow kisses to when there's not and she's just all about it the peach cannot get enough of her adoring fans that aren't there All right with that let's go to race number two we're up for a good time here with peach she's done well in the opening race getting a full 15 points where will she land this time at dolphin shoals a track that has a few corners in it it gets the best of me um, when I'm in a go-kart, so this could get interesting, particularly those last two turns as you come back onto the sh onto the finish line. So we shall see the Peach again. She's up and ready to go. Telling us that she means business as we get stuck in, heading down through the Dolphins. I'll bust the banana out as a bit of protection there. And we head down into the Moray Eel Ridden Cave. Yeah, well done, Peach. You've landed it. 
I didn't expect it to be honest about halfway through. I thought we'd got it wrong somehow. Oh, well. <coughs> we know she can ride Yoshi. And her efforts on the back of the eel just then. Absolutely superb, Peach. It's good doing business with you. Okay, so this corner here will be interesting on the bike. Actually, you know what? That handles beautifully. That's almost better than a cart. I'll take that. Well done, Peach. All right, let's chase the dolphin. We've got two, but they both peeled off. Not giving us a chance as I hit a banana. Absolutely pretender. As Toad starts to close in on us, and I tell you what, I nearly missed that jump. That could have been a right mess coming through there, but Peach has saved the day again. Back atop the Moray Eel as she fins it. You know what I did there? There's a move in Warped Kart Race, which is another kart race where I play a lot of, called a turn hop, and I just thought I could jump over the top of the banana, knowing full well that that's a completely different game and that that's not possible. Get away from Yoshi, I'll give you the tip. I'll drive across the, the hard coral just to not be a part of that blue shell explosion. He earned it, he can have all of it. Oh yeah. Oh, I thought someone was gonna nab me then with the red shell, uh, but they were kind enough to let me get away with it as we head back down into the Moray Cave. Oh, she's just caught the top of that pipe. A little bit of item help would be nice here. I don't think we're gonna get anything as the lightning comes out to ruin it. Anyway, she's still got a groove on this peach as we sort of bend around this top end here to come back down for the final pass. Oh, absolutely beautifully driven there by the peach. She can talk underwater as she gargles. Oh, yay. Well done to her. And again, she's going on the kisses to her. She's all over it. Hopefully the uh, dolphins know what's going on because they're the only thing there that she could possibly be doing it to. I suppose the cheap sheeps are about. There's certainly no spectators. It's basically just, well, there's the Moray eel. He's like, look, is she kissing? Is she, is she blowing me kisses? Is that what's happening? I don't think it is, mate. She's just rich, literally ridden on your back and took off. All right, well, the peach is done. That dolphin shoals. Time to move along. I tell you what, she's definitely got her skates on. Skates being a metaphor for a motorcycle, of course. Now, if you have been watching the channel, you realise that I'm also playing through as Yoshi himself. Um, he's, he's not as popular as the Peach, I must say. Um, he's not even as popular as Toad was. So Yoshi's going to get moved to a different time slot. He's not going to be the popular choice, I'm afraid. But the Peach, she keeps on giving. People want to see more Peach. We've done Cat Peach, we've done Normal Peach, and then I got the request to do Peach on a motorbike. So that, um, obviously that's what we're doing here, but this is the third video, because the first and second ones actually went really well. So uh, thank you for the suggestion. I appreciate that a whole bunch. And then thank you to everybody else who's actually taken the time to watch our Peach Rides a Motorbike series, because it's going really well. All right, that being said, let's do some racing here. I'll try and stay on the track. As we conk our way down. Stay on the track, but that'll be great. There's the DJ party. All right. We are somewhat nude. Oh, that was horrible. Let's say we're somewhat nude. We come across the finish line without a banana or a shell to protect us. Hopefully we can rectify that here. Toad's gone flying past me at a great rate of knots. Obviously thinking he's better than me, but I'll give you the tip, pal. You're not. And I'm on the motorbike, so you get out of my way. As Toad's taken the green road, I'll stick to the pink road. Only because we're more familiar with it. I don't know if the, um, if the green or the pink offers any sort of tangible benefits. I'm assuming Toad has taken an opportunity following that blue shell to take the lead off me. I will close out. What happened there? Did I get hit by a piranha? I didn't think that was possible. I'm totally confused about that. But anyway, now we're in third. 
So I think it's Inkling Boy has sort of got out in front of me. So we've got a bit of work to do. As again, we take the pink road. Inkling Boy's down there with us as well. We've picked up his trail and got a nice little boost through there. Oh, I'm glad I didn't come off the track there because I really, really would not have been able to recover in time from there. We're too close to the finish line. All right, we've got a green shell for protection. And now we've got a red shell. Our little multifaceted friend, but we're going to get away with it. We were pushed all the way to the end there by Toad. Actually, yeah, Toad, Donkey Kong, and Inkling Boy. I don't know where DK come from because he wasn't sort of visible through that race. He must have just been loitering out in the back there somewhere with Birdo and showed up at the right time. Well, anyway, there's the Peach. Look at her. She's on the victory lap. She's ecstatic as always. Oh, the kisses are out. She can't be stopped. It's her one move. When in doubt, blow kisses. She says, I want lipstick all over my hand, all over my gloves. Toad, when he goes back into butler mode and does my washing, he's, he's beside himself. It's a three-step process because there's lipstick on everything. Anyway, enough about the princess being a mess. I mean, look at her. Get a grip of yourself, princess. We'll go straight to race number four now to close out the GP. Hopefully with a win so we can go four from four. And that'll that'll amaze me because it's um, not every day that I do okay on the motorbikes. As we head to Mount Wario, uh, quite possibly my second favorite level in the, in the game. Um, I'm a massive um, Toad Circuit fan. Um, and I'll probably say that that's my favorite because I'm boring. Uh, but this is an absolute cracker of a track. So let's do it, Peach. Make a good start. There it is. She's in the saddle and off she goes. Toad again trying to pretend that he's important and is going to play some part in this race. Well, I'm here to tell you, mate, that's not going to happen. Mind you, I'm driving like a lunatic here at the moment. Uh, hasn't got any better. Wow. Okay, so motorbikes on slalom, snow and ice. Doesn't necessarily go that well. Okay, down in towards the hydro power station we go. Let's try and keep it simple through this part. Can I land on the rock? Oh my goodness, I've actually done it for once. That rarely, if ever, happens. Let me give you the tip. All right, down through the power station we go. To get to the fun part, oh, this is not where we want a blue one. We'll just get washed away by the water. <coughs> I think Toad threw a, uh, a red shell at me there and it was all a little bit too late because the blue shell had stopped me as I just glide past him like he wasn't even there. I mean, you suck, Toad. Get out of the snow, princess. You're doing a terrible job. Oh, off a tree, off a rock wall. It's all gone pear-shaped here as DK and Inkling Boy get out in front. Oh, Inkling Boy's just wasted that red shell. That was an absolute pretender move there. Anyway, this is my favourite part of the track as we get our way through the slalom and I've missed that somehow. It's, I must have jumped there. Anyway, we'll get down through the moguls. You're kidding yourself, Toad. That's all I'm saying, mate. Lightning again and showing up to ruin the day. Why have a good time when you can do it slow and clumsy? Now we are all on our own as the game has left us with an a protection re item. Oh, there's a red shell coming. Get out. Oh, it stopped. You did win. That was amazing. There was a red shell zoning in on the peach there. And she's managed to outrun it, which is fantastic. Link's in the background having a party, pretending like he shouldn't be busy over at uh, Tears of the Kingdom, getting that sorted out. What a right mess over there. Peach is happy. I'm just letting it go. She's enjoying it. She's finally got a crowd to play up to. For once, I'm not concerned about her mental state because there's actually someone there to get all that attention. Mind you, it looks like they're in the middle of an earthquake. Look at the ground. Anyway, with that, let's get stuck into the highlights and see 
what Mario Kart TV is going to serve up as a celebration of our win here. Will they be highlights? Will they be lowlights? Or will it just be me driving off the screen? We've, we've done this before. We know what's going to happen. So let's check it out and see what's coming our way for the Star Cup. So we've gone back to Dolphin Shoals. That's me jumping on the back of a Moray Eel. Doing okay there. Uh, collecting a few coins. I'm still hanging on to that banana. Didn't do me any good for some reason. Well, I don't really know necessarily if they were highlights. It was a pretty average package put together there by Mario Kart TV. But importantly, we've come away with four wins. A first, a first, a first, and a first. Well done to close out the Star Cup. And with that, we've made it to the end. We've collected the trophy. Get in the comments and let us know what you thought. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Most importantly, thank you so much for your time and hanging out with us. We appreciate that a whole bunch, and we'll see you next time. Hooroo, goodbye, have fun. See you later.